So you guys can see, I'm gonna put my hand in here as a demonstration, right? I'll put my hand in here, it's gonna push all the heat, all right? I'm gonna leave a bunch of heat on the pillow and this is what we do, I'm gonna remove the hand. And the pillow is supposed to insulate and is, if you can see the hand still there. Today, I bring in the flare one. So this is a thermal camera slash video camera slash pictures slash monitoring. And it's a pretty awesome monitoring system. So this is used for more like if you, you know, people are have some sort of temperature or more of a hardware if it's too hot for an environment or if the systems are actually overheating and if you need more of a cooling, you'll see where you actually have to cool the system. This is great to monitor laptops, desktops, server rooms, uh, even people, like I said, and environments. And it's a pretty good system. It, it, it comes, it's made for Droid. They do have a different version for actually uh, OS. But this one in particular is for Droid phones, just to let you know. It's a Type-C connection, all right? They do have for additional different models that you require the micro USB. Uh, they do have that connection available still, but this is a Type-C for the newer models out there. So let's hit, go ahead and take a look and see what you need to do and what you need to get and what I think about it, all right? So let's take a look. I'm gonna get it out here. Now we have it here. It's a little small little device. There's two cameras, all right? If you guys can see type C connection and it has the uh, controls here to actually um, adjust it. So, right? and the on and off button is right here. And this, you gotta charge this. You definitely have to charge this. Uh, there is a reset button here, but at the moment, if you don't have it calibrated with your system, you don't need to. You can recalibrate with the software too that it comes with too. So right here is a power button on, and of course the charging station here. This has a couple of hours of charge, but also will keep continue charging through the actual phone too. So make sure you keep this clean. Try to keep it from the away from the debris. And here we have the actual USB Type C connection. If you guys can see it, um, this is pretty decent connecting in there. And they give you a long, you know, well, you know, four or five feet of it. So not bad. You can put the charger station in here or the box in here, but most most likely this one goes in the back, so it will move from here, and the cable goes in there. So not that bad. They give you a whole case, the cable, and the actual camera. So let's go ahead and set it up, see what you need to do when you set this up, all right? All right, so very basic. What you need to do is go to your phone, and you need to download. You need to go into Flare. All right, like I was mentioning, you got to make sure you download the application, all right? Flare 1, if you don't have it, it's not gonna be able to work. This camera only works with the system and make sure you calibrate it too once you get it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we put it in, in here and we turn it on and it turns on automatically. And then we have it already where it's facing up and you're gonna see it, you'll be able to capture some of the stuff. So we're gonna go in, look for flare or it comes up automatically. Okay, to explain to you guys right here, um, you have your options. We have photo, time-lapse and video. You have three options right now. Right now we have this calibrating where it's pointing out to certain degrees. It's pointing, it has a little laser that actually points, but you can't see the laser. It's naked, it's invisible to the naked eye. Um, it tells you exactly how, how hot it gets in that certain point. And we're gonna do a little demo of things I've done and I've ran a couple of um, demos to where it's useful, especially on laptops, environments, and people too. So we're gonna go ahead and record on this one. All right, so we're gonna record we're gonna go ahead and record this and we're gonna face my my face so you guys can see it. There it is, my face, and you can see my glasses and everything. It says that I'm 92, you know, and that's pretty much uh human body should be 96, 97, but right now because I have a fan over me, it's a little cool here. So I'm a 93, 92, so not that bad. We're gonna do the stress test right now. So I'm running a program to push it to the limit, and it's going up to 98, 99. Uh, we're getting up there. So this is a stress test and it's going pretty hot as you can see All right, we're running it right now and if you can see it's actually keeping it cool right now There's a little tiny spot right here, which is over a hundred um, We are running a hundred right in the center, but overall it's maintaining its color uh, On the laptop itself and this is a laptop right here that we're looking at and this is a thermal camera that we're using right now uh, We are running some fans underneath to keep it nice and cool. I like that you could push it down and it brings it back up right away. The system is awesome. I, I freaking love it. I, I used it for many things, especially for hardware. 
breeding. I mean, I need to find out how hot certain systems get, if they need thermal place replacement, um, if I need extra fans on the computer, if it's if it's uh, hot in the server room, or where is all the heat this uh, being dispensed from, this is a great thing you could find out. And a lot of tech guys don't really use this stuff. They use it for other things, but they're starting to now that they see that everything's getting more compressed and smaller and 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 their work environment is changing too. So uh, bringing in some tools like this is great for our environment.